Hi guys, my name is Harvey. This is gonna be the first episode in our financial accounting journey. I created this series because if you are frustrated in understanding the financial accounting, or maybe you're just completely beginning and you want to build a solid financial foundations, this series is gonna be for you. In this series, we wanna walk you through step-by-step step the most core principle of accounting. So make sure to hit the like button because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm to share this knowledge more and more to more people. All right, so in this, in this first episode, we immerse totally you know, in the accounting equations, which is gonna be the basic and the core principle of the accounting. So it's gonna be the root of every problems that we we'll see in the future. So without further ado, let's get started right now. So why we must begin with the accounting equations? Great questions, right? Imagine accounting is like a tree and it's been there for ages. Have different branches from financial accounting, financial accounting, audit, and taxes. The accounting equation is like, you know, the root of that tree and is exactly the foundation of the double entry accounting system. The key principle behind the accounting equations is that the things that the business own is always equal to the things the business owe. Seriously. That's all there is to it. The things that a business own is access. And depending on what lenders we have, if we have the third parties, we're going to have the liabilities. And if that's going to be the person who owned that business, we're going to have the equities. So here we are. We have the formulas of the accounting equations. We got access are equal to liability plus equities. And it's imperative for you guys. I mean, it's really it's super, super crucial for you guys to remember that this equation is always, always, always balanced. Okay, so right now we're gonna take each component into consideration. Access can include anything from cash, supplies, plant, property, and equipment, and account receivable. A simple note over here is that a receivable is an asset that promises a future inflow of resources. Any time that your customer pay you on credit or perform any kind of non-cash transactions, you need to record directly into the account receivable instead of the cash account. Whereas liability can be made of accounts payable, loans payable, wages payable, and taxes payable. A payable is a liability that promises a future outflow of resources. Speaking of equities, it's a little bit complicated over here because equity can be break down into big to another component. The first one we call contributed capitals or common stock. It's gonna reflect the inflow of the cash or other access from stockholders in exchange for stock. And the last component is the retained earning. It's gonna be break down by the revenue minus expenses. I will talk deeply about this concept in another videos because in today's video, I just want you guys to concentrate on the accounting equation generally. So just thinking about like the profit health for the future use. All right, we've been painting the whole picture. And this picture we call the balance sheet, which is a snapshot of our access, liabilities, and equities at a single point in time. Personally, I feel like the balance sheet is like the report that can help the doctors to understand and to know what exactly going on about the health of that business. Hmm, too theoretical, right? Hmm, don't worry. Let's go with our implementations over here. Let's say I'm coming up with the amazing business ideas about selling pancakes during this fall season in Arkansas. The day I intend to operate is today, 27 October. I currently have $15 in my pocket account and I decided to fund it all to my business. So therefore, because I have traded $15 of my cash into the common stock, so my cash account will increase $15 and my common stock will increase $15. The equation is balanced over here. In the next day, 28 October, you know, I'm so excited right now. So I head down directly to Walmart and spend $10 on all the ingredients that I need. I need the pancake waffle mix, I need the eggs, and I need the butter. So in this case, I have spent $10. So my cash account will minus $10 and my inventory will increase $10 as well. But then I think to myself, because I decided to serve all of my fellow friends on campus. So, you know, I really need a better quality pants. So I decided to buy a very beautiful, phenomenal and fancy pants at Target. It's going to be $30. But the problem is right now is that I don't have enough cash. 
So I have to make a very tough decision that I buy this one on credit, which mean I will pay that later on in the future, but not right now. And I have performed my first non-cash transactions. So my equipment will increase $30. And because I have paid this one on credit, so my account payables will increase $30. Thanks God, we still balance over here. Moving on to the big day, 30 October. You know, I've, I have waking up at 6 a.m. And I have to do whatever it takes, preparing the pancake, selling the pancake, because I with the hope that I can hit the sell that I deserve my effort. And then at the end of the day, I have sell total 100 pancakes and I've create $125 in revenue. However, the problems right now is it's kind of silly, but all of my friends on campus, they use the credit card, so they pay me on credit. So... I haven't received any cash yet. And like I said before, whenever we see the term on credit, we know that that's not a, that's not a cash transaction. So I haven't received any money yet. So I will record $125 in my account receivable and $125 in my revenue. It's still sad, but yeah, I, I, I appreciate that sale. So here's the summary that we have done so far. 27th October, I have invested $15 cash into my business. 28th October, I have purchased $10 of all the ingredients that I need to make the pancake. And it's going to be $10 in cash. The next day, I purchased a very fancy fry pan. And it's going to be $30, but I pay this one on credit. The big day, 30 October, I have sold pancakes to all of my fellow friends and make 100 sales. But the problems over here is that I provide this service on credit. So here we are. The equations, after all, is balance. Okay, so to recap, the first thing you guys need to remember is that the formulas of the accounting equations. Asset is equal to liabilities plus equities. And it's always, always, and always balanced. The next thing you guys need to remember is about the balance sheet. The balance sheet is like the big picture. It's like an extended version of the accounting equations. It's capture all of the business. It's like a snapshot of all business, liability, equities, and access at a single point in time. That's it for today. So congratulations if you make this so far. I'm grateful as become your partner in this journey. And I really want to congratulate that you already have, you already won half the battles. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.